I'm Rebecca Varghese. I'm Natalie Ward, and this is Tools for Storytelling. In this episode, we'll be discussing the importance of cinematography in storytelling. Both of us trained in theater at university. And I've worked exclusively in that field since, so my knowledge and execution of storytelling was specific to the stage. Because my experience stemmed from the theater side of things, when transitioning to filmmaking, I was, I was captivated by the sudden ability to manipulate the audience's gaze through something as simple as the movement and composition of camera. Deceptively simple. So as filmmakers, we're constantly looking for ways to learn ourselves and improve, as well as share with you guys. So we assigned ourselves a task. We chose three cinematographers whose work we admire, analyze three of their films, drew storyboards, read interviews, and then created three short scenes imitating each cinematographer's style. The first cinematographer we chose was Bill Pope, because I mean... Besides The Matrix, he has worked on films such as Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Disney's 2016 The Jungle Book, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans, and Edgar Wright's Baby Driver. Bill Pope often utilizes frame-in-frame -frame shots, dramatic jumps in shot angle, and a camera movement we're trying to call rotate to reveal. So here's our homage to Bill Pope. For our second cinematographer, we chose Rachel Morrison, the first woman to be nominated for an Academy Award for Cinematography. You might recognize her work in Black Panther, Dope, and her earlier Fruitvale Station. We appreciate how she focuses on the emotional needs of the scene and capturing the expressions of the actors. Often utilizing longer takes, they allow the actors the time to hit their emotional beats. She's also dedicated to the narrative of the films she works on and is willing to change her shooting style as needed to fit the arc of the story. Here's our take on Rachel Morrison. <gasps> what are you doing? Can't you tell? Uh, I think so. It should be obvious. You shouldn't. I know. I mean, I really wish you wouldn't. Well, maybe you should have thought of that. Oh. Is this because of what I said? Partially yes, mostly no. Can I make it up to you somehow? I very much doubt that. Okay, just stop and really listen. I said no. You don't understand no. I just asked you to listen. I said no, that's it. Our last cinematographer is Bradford Young. His style can be found in Solo, A Star Wars Story, Ava DuVernay's Selma, and the dramatic sci-fi Arrival, among others. His shots tend to be artistically framed, and he's intentional about his use of existing practical light. He's not afraid to shoot directly into the light, putting the actors in a semi-silhouette. Check out this scene to see how we implemented those techniques. What are you doing? Can't you tell? Yes, but 
It should be obvious. You shouldn't. I know. No, really, I wish you wouldn't. Well, maybe you should have thought of that. Is this because of what I did? Partly, yes. Mostly, no. Can I make it up to you somehow? I highly doubt that. Stop. I you just want understand. you to listen. You don't understand no, do you? I just want you to I listen. I said no. That's it. So what did you think? How could you see each style play out through the scene? What are some of your favorite shots from these movies? And who's your favorite cinematographer or DP? Comment down below and let's have a conversation! And if you liked this video and want to see more, like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching.